Yeah, Miles, you're, you're no stranger to the area. You've been to these games, but how did it feel your first time getting to walk out there and knock down a few threes as well? Um, it didn't feel real at first. Like, when I first got in the game and I made my first three, I was like, oh, my God, like, the crowd went crazy. And it was just, like, an exciting moment for me. And I know it was an exciting moment for my family. So I'm just, you know, blessed and just living play by play, day by day. Tessa, what was it like for your first experience here on this uh, court in, in in a game, if even if it was an exhibition? It was it was surreal. I I've heard about it and I've watched it, but just being out on the court and the feeling, like experiencing it with the fans, the atmosphere, the team, it was crazy. For for. Both uh, both of you, how do you feel the team played? I mean, did you like the flow of things early? I know it's early, and you're not supposed to be perfect on October 22nd, but how did you feel things went? Um, you go first. All right. Um, I thought it actually went pretty well. We executed what we want. We wanted. We played fast, and we know that we are, we're a fast team, and we know that a lot of people – we're kind of questioning how the team would be, and I think we set a good base for the season. Yeah, I agree with uh, Tessa. Like, I feel like we like definitely did what we were supposed to do when we got there on the court. I mean, we can clean some things up, but it's only October. It's only October, and I know we're going to get better as we go. Yeah, this is kind of for both of you. Just you know, you, you guys are some of the freshmen on the team. Just who are some of the the older? players who are helping you you all out and what are they saying to you uh, to help you grow? Um, I would say, honestly, all of them. Like, there's not specific people. I mean, for me, it's like the guards mainly, but the posts help me out too. They tell me where to go. They tell me keep my head up, keep going just in general. I mean, they've experienced it in their previous years, so they just give us their advice. Yeah, and I agree. Um, all the uh, upperclassmen, well, the people who've been here before, like we got here, because we got a new, we got a lot of newcomers on this team and a lot of freshmen. So I feel like all the people who were here last year, they actually help. And Pow Pow, she did a great job helping, even though she wasn't here last year. She just have like leadership. Her leadership is like unmatched. Hey, my legend, you talk about just how many newcomers. This is kind of our first time getting to see this new core of players. Just what's the competitive level, and all y'all wanting time out in the court versus just the excitement of getting to debut all of this young team. Um, I think it's really like both. Like it's very exciting for us because we all never play. Well, most of us never play in Gamecocks uh, women's basketball jersey. So like today, just basically set the tone for not only us but the fans and the people who are probably not supporting us. So I feel like we did a great job doing that. My laser, what does it mean to you to have your head coach refer to you as a generational talent? I've seen the uh, interviews and stuff, but I try not to like really watch them because like I told myself uh, this year, like when I get into college, I'm not gonna really watch the media. But like my mom sent me the video, and it was like I was just I felt blessed to be honest because she said what she said, and she felt like she really meant it, and she like gave she gave like examples of as to why I'm a generational player, and like in practice every day, she just pushed me harder every day. So I'm just blessed to have someone like that in my side on my side. I mean. Uh, being on the sideline and watching y'all, everybody was really vocal, and you talked about leadership on this team, but how did you feel like the communication aspect of the game went today on the court and also on the bench? Actually, very well. We, uh, we had a scrimmage a couple weeks ago, and I would say that when we got tired, we kind of all stopped talking, but we learned from that, and it was not just one person out there on the court talking. It was the bench. It was the people on the floor, like younger, older, it didn't matter. We were all talking. Y'all been practicing your French already, or is that the focus for the next couple of weeks? <laughs> <laughs> we're working on that. Yeah, we're <laughs> oh my God. All right, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.